Got in, over, bam, bam, and there. Now, as I said, we're going to be setting all these to easy ease keyframes. I'm just going to select all of these by left clicking and dragging and hitting F9 on my keyboard. And what that does is it makes the animation really smooth. Now it just kind of glides in, glides out, glides to the right, and slowly goes back. And believe it or not, that takes care of everything for the tutorial. So I'm going to hide my null object layer here, and I'm going to, as a final thing, you know, just uh, <clears throat> icing, on the, icing on the cake, excuse me, I'm going to hit this little button, enable motion blur, and I'm going to have motion blur for the, say, the particles. I want them to be affected by motion blur, and Frederick Nietzsche is going to be affected by motion blur. And, uh, yeah, I think that's good. You know, if you always want, I can add a glow to my Frederick Nietzsche there. You know, go to effects, stylize, glow. And I kind of like what want it to fade out a bit. Kind of blend in with the composition. Something like that. Glow intensity, maybe lower that. 0.8. Kind of soft. That's nice. So yeah, we got now motion blur and everything. And I got my glows attached. You can add a glow to your particles. But you'll notice now the camera is actually affected by motion blur as I'm skipping through. But it takes a lot longer to render. So don't do that until you're at the end of your composition, end of your animation. So with that, guys, as always, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Be sure to tell your friends. I hope you enjoyed this effect. As always, take care.